Gamescom, your half-assed reporter, the guy on the bike, and it's time for us to do what we do. Special shout out to our viewers in Bangladesh, North Ireland, and Rio de Janeiro. We're gonna try to pop in and see some work by Knox Martin at the Hollis Taggart Gallery. Okay. Well, I was uh, excited when I heard about this show. I was a student of Knox's. As a matter of fact, he was one of the reasons I came to New York in the late 70s and I guess I could say for good or bad that uh, a lot of my ideas, dogmas, uh, aesthetics about painting come from this was at least two years that I spent studying with Knox. Oh, geez, there he is. <laughs> and I'm not sure, but I think Knox has got to be uh, late 80s, maybe early 90s. Wow, well, I uh, just picked up the press release, and the title of the show is Knox Martin, Radical Structures. And they're saying that Knox is now 96 years old. Oh my God. Well, this is not optimal conditions for looking at these paintings. They're actually very large. This piece is Woman with Robe, number one. 1970 to 71, acrylic on canvas, 96 by 79. Uh, this is the kind of work that I saw Knox doing when I first came to New York. Uh, it's kind of a strange amalgam of a lot of various things. One of them is that uh, he was doing some very kind of hard-edged, large areas of flat color, uh, distinct forms, not unlike Al Held, and I think Al Held and he were actually acquainted, and I think that Knox may have even uh, taught a semester or two up at Yale. Oh, this is a beauty. 1963. It's a diptych magnet acrylic on canvas, 103 by 139 inches. As I was saying, there was a kind of a uh, shared aesthetic between people like Knox. Jack Youngerman, Al Held, kind of a uh, bold, flat, geometric abstraction. Uh, Knox always had a kind of a whimsical, humorous aspect to his approach. And uh, he always had a uh, Great, very um, pleasing palette. As a matter of fact, one of the things that we used to talk about was color, and um, he mentioned the, the part of the spectrum that he would call the kitchen colors. I guess you could have kitchen colors, bedroom colors, living room colors. This 
is she number one. 1972. 90 by 74 inches. I may have to come back at a later date. You know, partially it's because a lot of these paintings are extremely large and uh, Knox is also a very popular guy. I think he's probably got thousands of students that have studied with him over the years. This is Marquette for Wall Mural 1975. Acrylic graphite on paper mounted on foam core. Uh, that was one of the things that I was intrigued with about Knox is that he actually had uh, accomplished several large murals in New York about the time that I started studying with him. So. Late 70s, early 80s. This is a smaller piece. Red Woman, 1975. As I was saying, <laughs> Knox was very involved with the, uh, well, it was what Irving Sander was trying to get started as a kind of concrete art. I think that was the name of the movement. And it was uh, a group of painters, but they were all working with large, flat, bold areas of color, uh, simplified forms, strong contrasts. Let's see if we can squeeze this one in. This is She, Untitled, 1963-65. And I think Irving Sandler even uh, said that uh, his whole idea of starting a, an art movement ended up being a little, a little of an overreach. You know, I talk about liking uh, textural paint, but even though Knox is working fairly flat, you can see that there's a lot of uh, pedimetti, a lot of overpainting, and uh, yeah, he still leaves a certain amount of uh, gestural quality in there, so there's always a, you know, the, the remnants of the hand. is also one of the few painters that I know that can uh, get pink like that to work. Well, we'll try to squeeze this one in. Pandora Green Box, 1972 acrylic on linen, 85 by 60 inches. Well, I was talking about Knox and his uh, engagement with some of the the more austere kind of formalism. I think one of the things about Knox is he was always, even though he had a pretty firm grounding in technical cubism and uh, formalism, he always maintained a uh, kind of a sensuous, maybe whimsical, maybe even kind of a jokerish approach to a lot of his work. And he always had a, uh, a reputation as a, as a ladies' man. And I think that was just part of his uh, kind of generosity of spirit, his love, his passion. This is titled Flower Pots. 
And, you know, although a lot of these you look at and would think they were abstract, they're actually paintings of women. And these kind of uh, boiled down the elements, cut them apart like a cubist, and then pasted them back together again. <laughs> There's Lenny Epstein, he used to be the monitor in Knox's class. This time will Polar Mill, 1966. It's 101 by 80. One of the things that uh, I picked up from Knox was that uh, you shouldn't let scale intimidate you. Uh, I think the other thing that was kind of remarkable about this exhibition is they're saying that they've got something like 70 years worth of work here. I don't know if that's completely accurate, but something like that. This is Shapeshifter. 1962. Magna acrylic on canvas, 92 by 69. Well, Knox was, is actually a and a historical figure, I think he showed with the the Charles Egan Gallery. For a couple of years, that's the guy that gave William de Kooning his first exhibition. I think that Knox, besides teaching at the Art Students League, I think he studied the Art Students League maybe in the early 50s and was friends with Robert Rauschenberg. It's uh, pretty delicious to look at some of these surfaces after 1962, 60 years. I always had a question of how uh, some of the acrylics would hold up, but they have their own uh, own character. Yeah, see if you can guess the title, the title of this piece. Got it? It's titled, You. Acrylic on linen 90 by 69. Yeah, I don't know that many people that are 96, and <laughs> it's hard to believe that you can still be picking up a brush and uh, making paintings like this, and I'm thinking in a certain way this is kind of, uh, what can I say, a critique of people like Christopher Wool. This is another recent piece. This is Reclining Woman number four, 2019. Acrylic on linen 40 by 60. Yeah, as I was saying, I think Knox has probably got uh, Hundreds, maybe thousands of uh, students, painters, people.
people that he's influenced and studied with. And, uh, well, like I said, uh, I would be a different uh, painter if I hadn't hung out with him. Hollis Taggart. Okay, this is what, one of the reasons I came here. This is their one-person show of works by Knox Martin, who was my uh, painting instructor at the Art Students League about 40 years ago. It's untitled 1975, acrylic and graphite on paper. Woman with Folded Hands, 1973. Well, Knox was at the uh, opening and uh, Knox is 96 years old. Woman and Face, 1972, 89 by 73. You know, I'm looking at these paintings and thinking how fresh they look. I thought this was a really nice piece. Oh, David Humphrey. This is early, this is 1963. Garden of Time. Now, uh, as I was saying in the other part of the video, uh, Knox is quite an active member of the, the New York School. Uh, he studied at the Art Students League and then started teaching. And uh, while he was there at the Art Students League, he, Got to know Robert Rauschenberg. This is Bust of Woman, 1973. Carmen Seated, acrylic and graphite on paper mounted on linen, 15 by 13. Another beautiful piece from the early 70s. Woman's face, green eyelids, blue nose, 1972, 85 by 60. You know, some of his little paintings like this are just so beautiful. Reclining Woman, 1975. And he has such a uh, unique palette. Raspberry Breasts, 1970, acrylic and graphite on paper mounted on linen. It was so... Uh, Wonderful to see him at the opening, and he's still got uh, literally dozens and dozens of former students and fans that adore him. Garden of Time, 1976, Magnet Acrylic on Canvas, 98 by 125. Well, I learned a lot from Knox. I told him, I said, if there was one thing that he taught me that I never forgot was his line, hard against soft, thick against thin, curved against straight, and the shapes in between. So uh, whenever I 
hear somebody talking about the shapes in between, I think, uh, hey, these people are uh, almost as smart as Knox. Thanks, Knox. Oh, it looks like uh, they're getting ready to run everybody out. So this is James Com reporting on Knox Martin, Radical Structures, here at Hollis Taggart Gallery. It's a retrospective of 60 or 70 years work. You can like this, subscribe, share, and recommend it to your friends. And you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. I just ask you to say, Thank you, Kate. And thank you, Knox. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.